All right. That's from the new album, ladies and gentlemen, 1996, Hag. Oh, that's good. This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. When we were on tour together for all those years, one of my favorite parts of the show was when you would do impersonations. Oh, and, my uh, God, I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I'm going to ask you to grab the guitar again, would you? Well, okay. Because I want you, I know that uh, uh, you, name Mar you name your son Marty after Marty Robbins, did you not? Marty was named after Marty Robbins and uh, Marty Stewart. No, <laughs> no, not Marty Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> we sing a little bit. You used to do Marty. We sing. See, do a little imitation, Marty. Let's see, uh, let me think. I told Mary about. I told her about a great sin. Yeah. Mary cried <laughs> and forgave me, and Mary took me back again. Johnny Cash. Can you do? Can you, you used to imitate Johnny Cash? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a story. My wife called me, and I was up in Minnesota, and, and she, her voice was shaking. And she said, Johnny Cash just called me. And I said, well, what'd he say? She said, he's going to call you right now. I said, okay. I just hung up, and the phone rang. I said, hello, this is Johnny Cash. <laughs> You answered the book. And he said, that's pretty good, Haggard. <laughs> that, you know, I, I, never heard you, uh, I never heard you imitate George Jones. I never heard you try to sing like George. You know, some people, uh, I like to do George's songs. I do Jimmy Rogers' songs. Some people, it's beyond that. You can't. There's, there's people who have dedicated their whole life to sounding like George, said, uh, George Jones. Till I die. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Merle? My favorite singer of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Hank William, of course, is uh, is in there too. Hank Hank Senior, but this old boy has sung some Hank's great dead. country songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we are too one of these days. We're going to be dead for long, Amy. Hey, you're singing better than I've ever heard you. Well, you know, I, I, how'd you do that? All right, all right. How'd you? <laughs> well, uh, that's that's cause I haven't got everything opened up yet. You know, that's first try. You know. Oh man, it sounded awful good. You to guys me. did an album together. You had, you had what several hits off this album. And yeah, boy, a, it was it was a good album for. Him. I, I, I laughed so hard at No Show Jones because you had such a good time with that song. <laughs> uh, I mean, how many cuts did it take to do it the way you did it? Well, he's a perfectionist, you know, and of course we stayed in there a couple of days and a half, and <laughs> usually I'd do one three hours. <laughs> no, uh, it what it, we did. Uh, we didn't. I, it I guess wasn't all that long, sessions. George. I think we. I don't think we. I don't think we spent more than a. Two weeks and the whole thing. Yeah, we're just uh, we having his... songs. And everything. You already had the songs. Were you having as much fun as it sounded like? <laughs> George was was just about a week off from from straightening up. Yeah, he you yeah. only been. <laughs> well, you could, you could tell by the picture. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why the people from New York. No offense, but the people from New York that do a lot of that the picture work and stuff like that for your albums and things. They pick out the worst picture <laughs> in the world. Well, I had like one with my dog, it was better than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if you get any album cover at all nowadays, you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Yeah. <laughs> Mine no, looks no, like you I'm Mine good, George. Uh, right. You know, it's just to sit here with these two guys. It, I mean, my heart's going like this. I mean, it, it is. It's just incredible to sit well, here mine with, is too with right two now. legends like this. I mean, I, 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 I'm not kidding you. Thank you. It's uh, Thank you. it brings back a lot of memories. The first you? time, the first time that that I ever met Merle, and I heard him mention it a while ago uh, with uh, Bonnie, was at the blackboard. 
That's right. I believe if I'm not badly mistaken. That was a bar in Bakersfield, California. Right, and I remember seeing, watching Merle so strongly that night. He didn't know it. Yes, I did. But, uh, <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but I said, I can Lord, remember. I, I heard this guy, they, was call, they called him on there in a little bit, and, and he started singing, and I started, I said, well, where has where this boy come from? And my goodness, so you just, uh, uh, well, you just t had my whole attention the whole night. George, I remember oh, that like it was yesterday, and you know what a day yesterday was. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Wasn't it good? Yeah. <laughs> we had a good time. Do you think, I don't, I know, if you, I don't know if you've read George's book or not, but the, this, is, this is the yeah. most incredible book that I have ever read in my life, and, and I mean that sincerely. Thank you. What, what I, Thank you. And I know it's on the New York good. Times uh, bestseller list and everything. The fact that you had so much trouble in your life, you've had so much trouble in your life, do you think that that has... A, brought you guys together, and B, ha have something to do with this tremendous talent that exudes from both of you? Well, well you first want... of all, we caused most of, most of it. You caused most of the trouble? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Back when we and I was growing up, if you didn't start something, there wouldn't be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't nothing happening, was <laughs> It's not like today, you know, when everybody got so much different things that, to do, you know. We didn't have that much. Uh, but, but Mike, I mean, the trouble that the two of you have gotten into separately, uh, an entire society hasn't gotten into that much trouble. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> and, and still this marvelous talent. When you guys open your mouths, this, the, this gold comes out. It's just fascinating. Well, I'll me. tell you what, both of us, uh, and he'll agree, uh, we've been very fortunate. We both been touched. Uh, but I tell you what, we—I I think it's because you really, uh, really enjoy what you're doing, and I know we did. We every night, every every town, every city, uh, you just uh, you you couldn't wait to get on stage because the people. Uh, you loved what you were doing, and the Who people you did about? too. Are you talking about George Jones? <laughs> no, I'm talking about I'm talking about you and me. Speak for yourself, and, George. Uh, <laughs> and so many different artists. And and if I can say this for for you, knock me out of the no, the just line right here. No, uh, sir. No. We ain't my wife, you Nancy. You know Nancy. Yes, she bought I do. me a one of your new box sets, and she was supposed to have it here with us and went off and left it at the house a while ago. Nancy you, you don't were, usually do things like that. Yeah, you were, this, uh, if you love Merle Haggard, and oh, I yeah. know you do, that all, this is it. Oh, it, there it is, there this it is. is. I mean, this is, this is the, the most incredible collection that you'll ever find in your life. Now, See, I, don't, I don't know if you drink or not, you don't have to drink, but you might drink <laughs> after you hear it. Oh, but. For sure. Stay right where you are, guys, please. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be back. We've got lots more going on on our very special primetime country with Merle Haggard and George Jones. How's this, folks?